If you guys haven't seen part one yet, definitely go check that out. We cover the bounce, what it is and how to use it, setup, tempo, and then bump and runs. So definitely go check those out. In this one, we're covering pitches, flop shots, and bunker shots. This is a pitch shot. So the definition is it's going to roll out equidistant or less than the distance which it flew. So a shot like this here, where I want to fly at 30 feet, roll at 20. Now what I do for a pitch, I like to have the face just a little bit open. So the ball is going to be just right in the middle of my stance. And again, like I mentioned before, we drop the club on the ground. Where does it like to sit? That's where I like to have it for this pitch shot. So it's going to be a little bit open. Um, I'm going to be standing a little bit open to the target line because that means the face is pointed directly at the target. One thing I like to focus on here is tempo. And then also, as the club comes through, you gotta let the weight transfer onto the front foot a little bit. So I see a lot of people trying to hit pitch shots like this. So they sit back and try to loft it up. You gotta trust the loft here. If you keep the club in front of you, you're gonna come into the ball like this. So you're gonna have plenty of, of uh, loft without having the shaft lead. Bounce is gonna be introduced. You're gonna hit the ball well. All you gotta do is create that pressure on the ground. Ball's gonna shoot up in the air. But as a result of the club swinging through, you have to finish on your front, front foot a little bit. So it's gonna feel like you're finishing on your front foot, but it's just the momentum of this club pulling you in. You're not actively trying to get to your front foot. You're being pulled to your front foot by the club. So imagine somebody grabs onto your club at the end of the shot and pulls you forward. That's kind of what you're doing. Keep that ball in the middle of your stance. Let the club do the work. Let the club pull you through. You're not sitting back on it. You wanna be finishing on that front front foot. See how much that thing spins there? That's because it's grabbing. It's hitting on the ground with loft and the club is, and the ball is going to grab onto those grooves. If you try to hit a pitch shot like this and come in like that, the ball's just going to shoot off the face. You want the ball to roll up the face of those grooves. That's why we have the face open here. And that is the key to a silky pitch shot. Again, it feels like we're just creating pressure here. We're just letting the club, the reason it's called the bounce is because it feels like we're just letting the club bounce off the ground. We're not trying to hit into the ground like that. We're letting the club bounce. If you do this right, sometimes a, a divot is inevitable on Bermuda, but if you do this right, there shouldn't be big chunks being taken out of the ground here. You should be able to slide right under it. get it up that high is why we don't really see many flop shots out of pros. You can get the ball plenty high just by laying the face open, using the bounce, and allowing the club to do the work. See that? That one I really tried to juice up in the air just by letting the face sit open and letting the hand slide under it. And that's going to be the key for pitch shots. You see that pitch shot? You see how high and soft that was able to land? These greens are incredibly firm right now. I was still able to leave those short, even though this is a pretty difficult chip. That's the reason that we really do not need to hit this next shot, but I'm gonna show you anyway, because I know I would get comments about it if I left it out. Real quick, everybody, Trunk Slammers Collective merchandise is in. We've got long sleeve green t-shirt with the original design on the back, Trunk Slammers Collective. On the front, same design, pocket tee. Also this short sleeve one here, this color is ivory. I like a lot, a little off-white action. And the Breaking Bad, Skinny Pete selling clubs out of the trunk of his car, Trunk Slammers Collective, world's most addicted game. Amazing shirt, go get yourself one. And the first 50 sold of every design will have this signature on the sleeve. So those of you who've been saying that you want to get merch with my name on it, now's your chance. Make sure to go grab yourself one before they sell out. Because I know you guys are going to ask for it. Even though I've said many times that it is 100% not necessary, here is how you hit a flop shot, okay? Now there are two situations where it is okay to hit a flop shot. One, you 150% cannot go past the hole. Going past the hole would have to mean rolling 50 yards off the front of the green into water. It would have to mean um, losing the golf tournament. It would have to mean that if your ball goes past the hole, there's a guy standing behind you with a shotgun. No, rule number one, if you cannot go past the hole, go ahead and hit a flop shot. Rule number two, see rule number one. There's no second rule, that is the only rule. If you're okay with this ball being short, but it is dead long, that is the only time it's okay to hit a flop shot. 
Here's how you hit a flop shot. You gotta lay that face wide open, right? But see, when I lay that face open, look at that, that heel is up off the ground. So what do I have to do? I have to bring the shaft handle down, which means the rest of my body has to come down. That shallows out the plane, that allows the club to slide under the ball, okay? So when I get low like this and I hit this shot, and this club face is pointing directly upward, I'm gonna have to swing pretty hard to get this ball to travel the three feet that it needs to. Now this is dormant Bermuda. <laughs> this is gonna be extremely hard. I'm probably just gonna fat this thing. Okay, and that's how you hit a flop shot. If I have this shot and I'm right here and I'm in a golf tournament, what am I gonna do? If I 100% can't go past the hole, honestly, I'm probably gonna putt this. I'm gonna putt this and I'm gonna do something that's just not gonna make it go long. The shot I'm gonna hit is this right here. Simple little pitch. Keep the club in front of me. Hit it about that far. Let it roll out and if it goes 10 feet past the hole, I am okay with that. 99% of tour players are going to take a 10 footer with a reliable short game shot versus a, a flop shot that gives them a chance of either scoring it over the green or duffing it right in front of them or doing something else stupid. A 10 footer with an easy shot, your percentages are way better of getting up and down than trying to hit it to two feet with a flop shot that's incredibly difficult. All right guys, so the last category of shots is going to be the bunker shot. Now there's not really a bunker shot to this pin that I wouldn't just hit with a 54 degree because one of the shots I do mess around with with different clubs from around the greens is a bunker shot. Let me show you why. The difference between this shot and another shot is in a bunker shot, you really cannot shut the face down. There's really no option to do that and hit a good shot. Um, there are some kinds of like hook bunker shots that um, Euro Tour guys have told me about where you you come in with like kind of a closed face and you come away from the inside and it's supposed to be like a bump and run so it'll kind of look like this. Okay, but I don't really like that shot so much. I mean, that actually turned out pretty good. But um, as far as shots that I will hit around the green, I'm more likely to, just because I don't really want to mess around with a whole lot else, I'm a lot more likely to take a 50, 50 degree or a 54 degree and hit the same shot where I have the face open about 15 or 20 degrees. I just hit a typical bunker shot. Uh, I, I much prefer just to take a club with less loft and hit the same shot around, around bunkers. Now, um, like I've mentioned before, this is something that I might change in the future. And if I do, I'll make another video updating you. But for now, there are two different types of bunker shots I hit with this club. One is more of a chunk and run. So I'm gonna hit a little bit more behind the ball. Uh, I don't have a hole that I'm hitting to right now, so I just put my range finder on the green. But I'm gonna come in about three inches behind the ball right here. I'm gonna take a bunch of sand, send it up with an explosion, and it's gonna land pretty hard and run forward. It's gonna look like this. Okay. Okay. The next one is gonna be more of a high spinny shot, okay? Um, this is actually kind of a perfect bunker for it because it's pretty firm. So I'm actually going to be able to do this pretty well. I'm going to open up the face a lot. I'm going to try to slide right under it and I'm going to hit like an inch behind this ball. This is a lot higher difficulty of a shot. I'm going to hit about an inch behind this ball. It's going to go very, very high in the air. It's going to have a lot of spin on it. The reason for that is I want this, this ball to interact with the club face. On that first chunk shot, the ball's not really interacting with the club face. It's more just getting hacked out. On this one, it's gonna to touch the club face, it's gonna grab the grooves, and it's gonna spin quite a bit. All right. And that is all the bunker shots I will hit with this club around the green. If that changes, I'll update you on the future. Um, if it's interesting to you guys, I might actually uh, hunt down one of those Euro Tour guys and see if they can teach me how to hit that chunk and run um, hook bunker shot because I think it's pretty interesting just not something I mess with too much really hope you guys enjoyed that video I hope you learned something but I want you to know that video was not made with you in mind that was not personalized advice that is guaranteed to help your game with the combination of the right instruction and hard work you can make massive leaps in your game so shoot me a DM on Instagram if you want to book a zoom lesson and get some personalized help from me on your game I've been giving a lot of Zoom lessons lately, and honestly, it's been a great time. I feel like I've been helping a lot of people with their game, and if you want to be next, shoot me a DM. We'll make that happen. Oh, wonderful.
If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any in the future. Uh, give a shout out to Stripe Headwear. You see me wearing these a lot in videos, um, lessons I give. I'm always wearing these hats, like them a lot. BHG15 for 15% off your order at stripegolfco.com. Also, Par Points Golf, this game is absolutely incredible. I got a match coming out soon with Par Points. Um, four golf pros all going head to head in Par Points. It's for all skill levels, it's a ton of fun. Definitely check it out. If you haven't yet, you are making a mistake. It is amazing.